Good afternoon and welcome. My name is Jacob and I'm here with my colleagues Chia, Charlie, and Abai. And today we're here to talk about gravity payments and do an organization behavior analysis of the company and essentially talk about how the CEO, Dan Price, came to the decision to make a $70,000 minimum wage um, requirement within the company and how that's affected the company in the, in the long run. Um, so just to do a quick overview, first we'll give a, a quick rundown of the company, a brief history, how the company started, and basically how Dan Price came to the decision to give a $70,000 uh, minimum wage to the, to the workforce, um, and how that's affected worker productivity, how it's affected recruitment, employee retention, and organizational commitment to the company. So to give you an overview of Gravity Payments, it is located in Seattle, Washington, um, and it's a private small business. It started from a college dorm to become a national provider. When Dan Price was 19, he overhead, at a bar, he overheard a frustrated conversation between the owner of the bar and a credit card company. So he started this small business out of his dorm room to provide lower costs, transparency, to potential customers. He d intended on not making much money out of it, and but now he's a national provider with in all 50 states with more than, or around 15,000 15, customers. So like I mentioned, it was a credit, or it is a credit and debit card company, and the aim of the company is to provide lower costs and transparency. Um, to give you a little perspective on who the CEO is and what he stands for, Dan Price said, I never intended to make a lot of money or really any. I was really upset at this industry for the way they were treating my clients and I just wanted to pull up the whole thing. So from the very from the very beginnings of the company, Gravity Payments has been a company that's been about honesty, transparency, responsibility, all while providing a lower cost. So even before um, the 70k decision was made, um, Gravity Payments was considered quite an employee-friendly company and forward-thinking in terms of looking after their employees. Dan Price, the CEO, was once quoted saying, take care of your team and now take care of your clients. Um, so much so that in 2014 and 2015, um, they won the Best Workplaces Award. Um, they have another, a number of other initiatives, including company-sponsored outings and um, team-building events, free healthcare for employees, catered meals for employees when they are working, unlimited time off for employees, and an initiative called Flannel Fridays, where on Fridays, um, self-explanatory, um, all employees wear flannel. Um, the 70K decision um, came about from when Dan Price was meeting with a friend um, who was a college graduate, um, also living in Seattle. Um, she was um, well educated um, and working very long hours um, just to make ends meet and living paycheck to paycheck. Um, Dan Price thought, well, this can't be um, helpful to, to employee productivity and hence came about his decision. Thank you, Charlie. So he mentioned before about the decision before putting like 70,000 annual wage. As he said, decision based on the friend's story of a difficult living on a salary equal on less than 40,000. And we can see from this decision that it wasn't just taking care of his team, but making sure that his workers are not stressed, not distracted, and are capable of focusing on their job and continue working in a timely fashion and being able to work constantly. Next slide. Okay. So it was mentioned <laughs> previously about the workplace, <laughs> best workplace awards. And from this award, it can be assumed that productivity levels in the company improved, it became better after this decision of implementation of $70,000 annual wage. Unfortunately, for the last year, profit declined and fell by almost 6%. And in order to calculate and to see results of the productivity in the company, we need the further forecast and results of the fiscal years in the future 
So possibly maybe in five to six years we can totally see how productivity levels changed in the company. Uh, finally, in the company employee turnover decreased by 90%. As a result, this decrease will result in a highly trained employees that are capable of doing their job in um, less time and in higher accuracy than the any other type of employees.